Okay, so today's stretched Cox tech tip is going to be a um, Super 77. So whenever you're dealing with gaskets on flange surfaces like this oil pan or a uh, water pump or any, anything that uses a gasket material, it's a big pain in the butt to crawl up underneath something and have to line the gasket up and then have to line it up. Some people use RTV. I don't really like that because wet RTV still lets the gasket move around. So what I use is Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Okay, it's like a uh, contact adhesive spray. There's it, now it's in frame. So the way you use this stuff, it's extremely simple. You take your gasket, you spray your gasket down, you spray the mating surface to it. Okay, so. You gotta watch when you spray this, it sprays out in a line. It doesn't take a whole lot, you just kinda make it tacky. Okay, then take your gasket, do the same thing with your gasket. You don't have to, it's not like you're painting. You don't have to like coat it, you know, in like a candy apple paint job. You just want a little bit on there. Yeah, you're just making it tacky, just kind of making it to stick, okay? So then you want to let it sit here and kind of air dry for, it's a cold day right now, so we're going to let it sit for about a minute, minute and a half. It'll get sort of tacky, and then you just stick the two together and then it's stuck on there. Now the cool thing about this stuff is whenever you use it, it's not too it's not too hard to pull the gasket back off. So if you ever have to pull the oil pan or a door cover or something back off, it's not stuck on there so much that you're sitting there with a chisel trying to grind the crap off, you know, like a, a rubber cement or something like that. It's, it's just the right level of tackiness to be able to remove again. So we let it sit for a little bit, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, then you come back and you just kind of line it up now, when I do this, the can says to let it sit for five minutes. If you let it sit for five minutes, once you touch the two surfaces together, they're stuck and you're gonna sit there and fight it. With this stuff, since it's, we just put it on there, you can kind of pull it back off. We can stick it back on there, reline it up. Make sure your holes are lined up. Just like that. And now our gasket is on there. and you're crawling around underneath the tractor or car or piece of equipment or whatever, now you're only dealing with the oil pan, that's it. So it's stuck on there, it's pretty good. It's not gonna go anywhere. And the, uh, the, the best part about this, and this is why I like this method more than RTV, you're sticking it up underneath there, well if you hit something, you know, like you hit like that, well it doesn't, that doesn't move it. This is stuck on there to the point now where it's like one solid piece or you're underneath something, you're trying to stick it up underneath and you actually hit, you know, you don't move your whole freaking gasket off and then you're trying to like brace it up and move it with your hand and your RTV is yeah. getting sticky. You can like pick this thing up and hold it upside down and set it yeah. back down and it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, it's just going to stick on there and it's, it's, yeah. Hmm? Huh, what? Yeah, it still literally doesn't budge. Yeah. So this is the oil pan for this. Um, something else, I was telling Chucky about this earlier. I used to do this in the oil field all the time. I glue gaskets to one side, and if it's on something that you're gonna have to take off a whole bunch, like in the oil field, it was the compressor doors. Every time we come out there, we gotta take the, you know, the doors off to do a bunch of stuff. You glue it to one side, and then take you some oil, or you take you some assembly lube, and you rub it on the outside of the gasket, and it sounds crazy. You're thinking like lubing up the side of the gasket, like, you know, it's not, it's gonna leak. It doesn't leak. It just makes it kind of a releasing agent where you pull the door back off, your gasket is perfect condition. You can reuse your gasket, putting it back on. It doesn't stick to anything. But only do that to things you're planning on taking apart. This is an oil pan. We're not planning, hopefully, never have to pull this oil pan back off ever again. Oh, that sounded good. Yeah. Sound of quality. And just like that. Obviously, we've got this engine on an engine stand, so it's very easy to do it. But if we were un up underneath the tractor, glue that gasket on there. Um, and great and uh, there'll be a link down in the description for it on Amazon that buy the stuff on Amazon if you go to O'Reilly's that can is like $25 or something crazy you can get a little cheaper at Home Depot stuff like that but Amazon is the cheapest place you're gonna find that stuff get you two cans order it have it on your shelf and you'll thank me later or thank Chucky later <laughs> about gluing gaskets to flanges it's like a, a, a well, not life-saving but it, it saves so much freaking time to do it all right, cool. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, friendly reminder, link to Steven's channel in the video description below. That's me. Yeah. 
And um, yeah, hopefully this thing will be back to not making hay for me uh, due to a broken baler and everything else in no time. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, uh, comment, and get out and fix something.